Christy Fav here at Lot 806 in Golden Vista. Start here with the outside. It does have pavers. You can kind of see right down there, there's the stop sign. This is Cinnabar, so you're really close to the clubhouse. And just a few from the end of the road on this side. This is the west, northwest side of Golden Vista. Your sherry out there. This is where the setback mark is. So it definitely has an oversized patio area, maybe a foot in on this side. I'll show you the same thing on the other side. A little bit of a step down here, but this is all pavers. And then once again, on this side, so you really gain. There's the hash mark, there's the home. So it basically goes from my two feet, or where it's supposed to be three foot, but it definitely is not. Maybe a foot and a half, maybe a foot. Pavers along the side here. There's the back patio area. This is a Goodman AC system. I would, it's not original, it doesn't look like, but obviously not brand new. There's a soft water loop here. You would just get that inspected to make sure it's all working. I love this back patio area. It's raised. Coming down the side. It does have this privacy screen. Now this definitely is a shorter access or shorter parking as far as tallness goes. Can't tell you what it is exactly. I'll try to measure it before I leave to give you an idea. Huge parking area though, which is amazing. They do have all these pull out drawers. All the way around under this decking. Most impressive thing. is this deck. Absolutely love this decking area. And then if you look at the mountain views, this is north facing. That is spectacular. This tracks around the edge and then tile up here. And just, this is, this is impressive. Oops, just <laughs> walked into it. up here. And then even another sitting area down here. Just really well utilized, but this is because it has a very oversized area here to take advantage of. This is the shed. It does have the stacking washer and dryer. They have this in your window. You take that out. They have a little mini fridge there. Tons of storage. Conduit going from this electrical panel. So this is the sub panel. The main panel is out on the side of the home. Extra bed. Let's head inside and take a look. Here's the kitchen. Looks like this laminate flooring was updated. They do have a lot of cabinet space. Take a look at the pantry. These have been painted, so they were originally, obviously, all this color, and then they painted. 
the fronts of them. This does have a smaller stove, but it is a newer one. It's not the original. It's a smaller one with flat top. It has a full-size dish uh, microwave and a dishwasher, which would not have been in here in 1988. So they added that, which is a huge bonus. And then here is your flooring in here. It actually is pretty nice. This was a height of bed here. Nice recliner. Once again, amazing views. I love the blinds. They do have these nice blinds that they did install on all of the windows. So it's very open and spacious in here, which is really nice. Let me step back and show you. There is a ceiling fan here, a very minor vault in this area, and then the rest is a flat ceiling, which is typical of this year. It does have all the storage right in this area as well. Making sure I'm giving you all the views. There's the bathroom. The bathroom hasn't really been updated a whole lot, but there is a lot of nice space and it's obviously usable. I can tell the toilet is the more raised toilet. So at least not the squatty one does have the blinds here. Just a wall uh, screening texture there. And they took out a cabinet or something right here. I'm not sure. It's probably a storage built in storage and they took that out because it didn't make ideal sense for them. And then to the bedroom bedroom does have this little nook. Once again, the blinds throughout. This does look like a queen size bed. This is not just a full, but a queen size. Pretty certain. And if it looks potential, you could bring in a king size, but it would be tight. The built-in cabinets here. And storage. All right, there you go. Give me a call, 520-424-6819. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.